Barcelona, we have uh, more than 1% of the uh, entrepreneurship companies in the world. We started 27 years ago. We were alone in this ecosystem. Nobody talked about startups and entrepreneurship. And well, the story has uh, gone on and gone on. And nowadays we are part of a, of a nice ecosystem here in the city. And we think that this is our, our role now, to be a part of it. We have then, after us, accelerators, other incubators, we have venture capital, we have um, universities, we have uh, other entities that are interested in, in, in starting up companies. The investment part is the, the, the downside okay, of the thing, because here there is a lot of investment for, for seed, okay? but there is not too much investment for growing business, okay? When you start your company, it's very, let's say it's relatively easy to find the first investment, uh, business angels, uh, seed investment, but when you have a company that's growing and needs uh, more capital to grow faster, it's difficult. And then you have to go out of Spain. You have to go to UK or to the United States. We have a lot of mo movement a lot of um, incubators, funds are being raised here, so competition is quite high on both sides. We are a, there are a lot of projects on the market, and there are a lot of funds without too much experience. And this is ending on non-high quality startups being well funded and spending money as crazy. So on the talent side, the market is increasing a bit, and there is a hype on how much it costs to hire, a, or how much you have to pay to hire a good employee in some cases. Also, uh, valuations are quite low in some cases and extreme in others. So, uh, I see a good trend. This is going to be a nice place to, to begin, but we, we, we are facing some challenges these days. I think that from the government, the message is that everyone can be an entrepreneur. And that's very risky because we, we've been working for 12 years with entrepreneurs and we know that not every person has the right profile to be an entrepreneur. So that's very difficult because now we receive lots of entrepreneurs uh, that they really think that it's very, very easy to be an entrepreneur and to have success with a company and to be the next Facebook, Twitter or, or so, and that's very difficult. So now the, the point is that we try to, um, to tell them that it's not so easy. So, okay, it's right to be an entrepreneur, but you have to have very good skills at some points and, and, and the right profile to develop the business and to have success. So that's one of the things that I'm seeing now in, the, in Barcelona. It's a great city for, for startups because the social life, the weather, uh, the culture, and uh, you get to do many things and to and it's a lot of young and international people. So all that part is great, but you, know, you have to be sure that all the things you have to do, the taxes you have to pay, the you know, registration thing, it's, it's not so easy as in other countries, but I'm thinking the effort was worth it. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult because um, right now there is a, a very big uh, startup ecosystem, okay? And the people is very demanded. And so it's very difficult to find good people. But there is a lot of uh, very skilled programmers here and there's a lot of talented people. For example, if you talk about business development and, and, and strategy and marketing, uh, uh, there are some of the, the most important business schools in the world here in Barcelona, okay? So there is a lot of uh, people that can help you uh, to move your product and your project and do uh, incredible things here in Barcelona. There's a lot of big companies here as well as a lot of startups going here as well. So there's a lot of different mentalities and a lot of different people to talk to, a lot of networks you can tap into, 
a lot of um, expats are here as well, thanks to the bigger companies. So it's not just a Barcelona mentality, it's getting to be a global mentality as well. So there's a lot of things that you can take advantage of. If you were to compare projects and entrepreneurs, I would say they're very, very different um, from what they were, I would say, not 10, because I might not be able to say that, but from five years ago. Projects, people, and the way they're prepared, they're much, much professional today. One, one side of me is happy because we're finding very good opportunities in, in, in Barcelona. Another side would like to you know, see more of the projects that are focused on the, on the areas of the, of the futures. I was uh, tweeting the other day about, uh, I don't see enough uh, Google Glass projects in, uh, in Barcelona, or I would like to see more uh, 3D printing, uh, just, just to mention uh, uh, a couple. So, uh, not really, really happy about innovation, but I think we have to strive for the best and, and be very demanding. So I would always urge our entrepreneurs to, to watch uh, carefully for those uh, trends and try to be as much as possible in the, in the bleeding edge. Living in Barcelona, living in San Francisco is very similar. But um, the only difference I think is people in San Francisco are more optimistic and they're more willing to change the world but because they believe they can really change the world. And in Barcelona, we're more pessimistic. And I think that's what we have to learn, to be more optimistic about uh, what a positive impact we can have in the world. My feeling is that Barcelona is a growing startup ecosystem. Has, nothing, uh, has uh, have a lot of things to learn on the entrepreneur side and also on the uh, investor side. But the trend is good. We are growing and we are sustainable, we are going to have in, in the short term good exits and, and success stories. We are a, an attractive ecosystem for foreigners, for both talent and, and investors and I think that in the near future something is going to happen in Barcelona for the good.